So this is your mini meal and this really is, if you really take this on board, this is another game changer for you that can really make the difference for you. Why do I call them mini meals first of all? Well, if we talk about snacks, snacks imply you can just grab something on the go. And you may well just grab an apple, which is probably healthier than eating a chocolate bar, uh, and that may seem perfectly fine. The problem with that is, however, you're only eating one of the elements of the protein, fats and carbs. So whilst it will keep you satiated for a period of time, really the best combination is having the protein, the fats and the carbs at every single meal. So I call them mini meals because that then implies and hopefully registers in your brain that it's an actual meal. And the connotation of a meal is that it has lots of different elements to it, whereas a snack is just one thing, you grab it and you go. So let's just take a look at what a mini meal comprises of, or certainly the one that I've put together. So I've got my chicken, there's my protein. I've got my carbohydrates, my tomatoes, cucumber and peppers. And for my fat, I've got 20 grams of cashew nuts. So that is the protein, fats and carbs all combined together. So that's the way I may eat it if I was at home. If I'm on the move, exactly the same, but this time in containers. So I've got my protein, I feel like a magician here, protein in there, the chicken, carbohydrates and the fats. This all slots together, one on top of the other. So I'll go protein, fats, carbs on top, pop the lid on, and again, if you've got a fridge at work, that can go in the fridge when you get there. If you haven't got a fridge and you're going on a longer journey, then you've got your cooler bag and you can just pop it in there, keep it nice and cool. So that's your mini meal. So that would be mid-morning or mid-afternoon, whether you're at home or you're on the go. If you're on the go, you may need two of these. That's the mini meal.